I should talk to Devil. Hey. Oh, uh, hi. I kind of thought you'd never talk to us again. I understand you're doing this for the village, and that you don't have a choice. Pretty much, yeah. But look, why don't you go talk to Popola? I think she wanted to discuss the Shadow Lord with you. I'm headed there next. Oh, and Devola? Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that. You don't need to apologize. Anyone would be upset when their friends are hurting. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, all right? All right. Let Emil and Kaine. All right. I think I'm beginning to understand. Climate change wasn't the cause of our woes. It was only a symptom. The real trouble started when something terrible came down from the sky. It seems that this event turned the world into a metropolis of salt. I guess they're talking about how most of the city sunk into the ocean. Mister? I'm sorry for all... What is the purpose of this place? Beats me. Apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers. And I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless, please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <sighs> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. You know about the Lost Shrine, right? 
the temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Oh, ho. It was right under our pages the whole time. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So, take a boat. A, a boat? Yes. The canal's finally been repaired. It took a lot longer than expected. What with the shades and all. I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> all right? And for the love of everything, be careful. And for the love... path above the entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat landing. How excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. The faster we can move, the faster we can save Yona. Let's use it as often as we need. Look who it is! That red bag. By my pages. Hey, it's been a while. Sure has. I've been in charge of this canal. Apparently I did a pretty good job with it because they decided to make me the permanent ferryman. Oh yeah, huh? Congrats. Thanks. Still, it's not all puppies and unicorns. The old ball and chain is always harping on me now about how... Anyway, if you got a place to be...
The lost shrine's up ahead. Just... As well as the Shadow Lord's castle. Let us make haste. Ain't you excited, sunshine? We finally get to bathe in blood. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I want to kill so bad I can barely stand it.
This is all too easy. What's with these guys? Certainly not your garden variety shades. Their bodies aren't fully functional. Say, I've heard of this. A curse to where incomplete shades gather.
Kaine, Emil, look, from now on, 
I'm going to sleep outside with you. Why? I can't accept that you aren't allowed in the village. It's stupid. So you're staging a protest? Have fun! Don't waste your time. But it just feels wrong. Well, that's really nice of you, but you still don't have to stay out here with us. Important mission. You can't sleep out in the rain. What if you catch a cold? Besides, I like camping with Kaine. Sometimes we sit around the fire and tell stories or roast. Emil, that's enough. I got a fucking image to maintain. seem to be surrounded by a mob of helpless puppies. Just kick him aside! You're kidding me! <laughs> 
Kanye! Are you all right? Kanye! I fear there is little we can do for her. No! Kanye! What is happening? <laughs> it's all over for you, sunshine. Kaine! Kaine! We must strike it down. Kaine! Come back! Oh dear. Kaine! 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 I... I couldn't hold it back. I can't be with... We're always going to be together, Kaine. If you transform again, we'll just stop it again. As many times as it takes. I don't care how tough it is. We're going to get you back. I like sleeping outside because I'm with you, Kaine. I'm able to ignore my appearance and keep going because of you. I'm weak and I'm sad and I'm lonely. But you make me strong. You're my friend and I need you. So don't you dare leave me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Stop crying. And thanks. I'm all right. Over there. And what is this, hmm? It's me. It's got some kind of writing on it, but I don't know what it says. How remarkably useless of you. Well, let's go ask Popola. It's a cipher of some kind. Can you determine its meaning? I think this is the key to unlocking the Shadow Lord's castle. Here, take a look at this. I wrote down all the words I can understand. This fragment is called the Stone Guardian. Given that you found it in the Lost Shrine, the words must mean something. There are spaces here for four other fragments as well. Sacrifice, the Law of Robotics, the Memory Tree, Loyal Cerberus. The Law of Robotics probably refers to the Junk Heap, and the Memory Tree might be the Forest of Myth. But as for Sacrifice and Loyal Cerberus, I don't have a clue. Not a problem. Hmm? If we want to fill in the words, we just run around the world killing every big monster we find, right? Oh, splendid. By all means, let us undertake a murderous rampage. They're just shades. Besides, it's the only way to reach the Shadow Lord. It's a dangerous task. Yeah, well, Yona's in even more danger. But how can you even be sure that she's... Because she is! Right? <sighs> hmm. The Junk Heap and the Forest of Myth, yeah? I'm on my way. Please be careful. Don't push yourself too hard. Oh, and listen. About Kaine and Emil. The villagers know how much they've sacrificed, and they're thankful. It's just... they're scared, you know? People can't change overnight. I'll hurry them along the best I can. But can you please give them a little more time? I'll try. 
The villagers know how much they'd I'll hurry them. I'll try. What's that? It resembles the sh Popola said we might be able to find- Perhaps we can find a cl Doesn't look like I have any work.
go. Get him. Don't let him escape. Military Defense Robot, Key 33. You are an intruder. You must be eliminated. Error. There is something leaking from your eyes. There's gotta be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh, no. Huh? Look out!
The noise of the intruders caused the structure to fail. They should have proceeded with more caution. One intruder has perished. The junk heap. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something about this. Oh, hey there. It's been a while. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please, forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. Yes. I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. Don't we already have this weapon? Shh. These things happen the second time around. Sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. I'm gonna need only the real big enemy. You got it. By the way, what can I help you with? It's a shame about the older lad. He was but a child. Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business.
the elder brother postponed his joy for the sake of his sibling. Do you think he was ever truly happy? Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like.
a large seagoing vessel that carries freight and passengers over bodies of water. You have taught me much, Kalyu. You have helped to expand my vocabulary. You have instructed me in the ways of the outside world. Because we are friends. Pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. No sense. That would be great. By the way, what can I help you with? That would buy the what can I help you with? Appears we have some free time on our hands. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Very well.
Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. This feels alarmingly familiar. I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time. Hmm?
Yeesh. I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that? suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's... actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... <laughs> all right, all right. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And here we go again. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red... Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library? Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Say, you... Yeah, I'm... to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? Passenger on this ship, maybe? Hey, it's okay. You don't need to be scared. That couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? 
You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. feeling <laughs> well your cough seems better at least check it out I brought you some bread today <laughs> oh easy there jeez you must have been starving well look no one's gonna take this from you so just take it easy so you don't choke on it okay so, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? Well, this is going nowhere fast. Let's see. Hmm. Louise. Yeah, what about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. Searched the Southern Plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. Lots changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know. The hope, I guess. If you ask me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah, he's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like a... Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asker. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. 
Whatever you say, my son. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Hmm? Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Huh, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Well, let's go ahead and check out your new look. If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? <laughs> well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. Hey, Postman. Oh, sorry. You're not him. 
I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a pat? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off. So I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> Sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge... Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. Hey, Louise. I brought your food for today. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? Huh. You haven't been eating much lately. Are you okay? Well then, let's try this. Yeah, sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. Oh, your voice is a bit rough there, but you're actually pretty good. You know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. She used to hum this same song a lot. I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Of course, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> Hey, are... are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise. I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here, sunshine. You feeling it too? Yeah. Is it... a shade? <laughs> Are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing? What's wrong, Kaine? Nothing. It's just... I'm sensing a presence from Seafront. Something like a shade. A shade in the town? That's not good. Shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. Not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. 
What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. What is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. We'll be right... <clears throat> the way things are these... These planks we can probably get in if we move them. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. So, were you able to write that letter? You know, now that I've taught you how.
Not yet, huh? Well, there's certainly no reason to rush. <laughs> you know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. First time we met, I didn't have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. <laughs> so, hey, I've been thinking. <laughs> How about you come live with me? It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. Not into it, huh? Guess I should have figured. I'm sad to hear it, but it's your choice, of course. Huh? The floor's wet. Wait, is this... blood? Oh dear. Are you... Oh, baby, that is one hell of a smell. We got something real nasty nearby, eh, Sunshine? <sighs> Come on, don't tell me you ain't picked up on it yet. You of all people gotta know what this smell means. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash... Whatever. <laughs> you sure you're all right, Kane? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the pro- Sure. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. We require a key. Look there, on the f- And there's still some oil in- Wait, did you- I did indeed. How on earth- Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her. Hmm? Weird. It's like we. D <laughs> what foolishness! I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. It looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? What's this? An apple? It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Oh, goodness, what a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. Oh, what was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I ex- Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. Wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of until the day the records sub- What the hell happened on this ship? 
We've no time. That's weird. I have to. I didn't even. In any case, we want to. Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. Hang on. I think I can move these. There's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried. By my pages. This ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. Delightful. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? I wish. Those are no mere tools, lad. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. There don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. The white... Wait! I... Would it not be wise to explore the rooms on the floor above us? Damn. Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Should we not be heading farther in? A kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some sale. <laughs> To be picky about one's food while at sea. Thinking back on it, the cuisine we were served during our visit to the bickering couple's home was quite... But tell me about it. I feel like I've sampled every single recipe in the Apple Fanatic. Once we track down the ferryman, we should invite them to a meal at our place. A fine idea, lad. Looks like somebody's journal. It says the ship was attacked by some kind of monster. Seems like the person who wrote this holed up in here, while the monster roamed around the ship, killing everyone. Do you think that actually happened? I cannot say. Though the term monster might well be referring to a shade. That sound was it stopped i swear it sounded like a girl this is a voice pipe a contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to hold a moment i spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall <sighs> yes this pipe onward and uh this little lantern has brought us quite far hasn't it yeah and the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. 
Well, aren't we the romantic? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep? Let's keep searching. A uh, vice? I think the floor is... Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Have you still not found the lantern? We've no alternative but to scour the ground. Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh no, this can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Hey there, you two. Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then, we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kane? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them. But the penmanship... <laughs> oh man, that smell is getting ripe! How you feeling there, sunshine? Not great. Can't you tell? This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. 
Let us proceed with utmost caution. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Oh man, this shade is nuts! I think I'm in love. You can feel her power hanging in the air, and she ain't even trying yet. <laughs> Things are finally heating up! Huh? Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but... Uh, well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? S sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her! She isn't... <laughs> something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you are... The ship is called very much aware of that. Shit! Shit, they're in the way! Looks like we can get out through that hole up there. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. <laughs> what on earth? Generative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once. Oh, listen, it's singing. This thing actually thinks it's a person. <laughs> Where the singing lessons came 
came from, but I do know it's sure as hell trying to eat us! On them. Don't stop now. Focus on the next one. Did we get it? Oh hell, that thing's huge! such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Hey, the guy from before has collapsed on the beach. That shade's got some kind of hard on for it. We should take him hostage. Shut your yap. I'm not in the business of using my blades on people. Sing songs until we get murdered. Spears flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues.
this thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! Focus on the source of its magic. Aim for the head. <laughs> we can never be together. You disgust me. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not yourself. I... 
I hope I can believe that someday. <sighs> All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Really, I... Hey, did you find my husband? Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he alright? Please tell me he's alright. Come on, say something already. husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already... No. It can't be true. That big idiot. Thinking about me all the time. Oh, God. This can't be happening. It saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you, so lad. You did the best you were able. People disappeared along with that The hell's this, Sunshine? A letter. That thing wrote it for the postman. Ha! Man, that is some grade-A chicken scratch! She probably copied the letters as best she could. So, what's it say? I think our friend's gonna wake up soon. Let's go. Honey. Yeah? When you were threatening that shade on the beach the other day, how did you know it was trying to protect the postman? Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's you, eh? Huh? 